Sydney's Crown Casino in Barangaroo is bound to be Australia's greatest icon. When it opens in 2019, you can forget the Harbour Bridge or the Opera House. Even Uluru will be forgotten like a child's silly old pet rock. And all the government had to do to get it built was give up everything they've worked for faster than a pensioner at a pokey. Because you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, and you can't build a casino without gaining immunity from a few laws. The O'Farrell government's controversial new lockout laws threaten to kill Sydney's nightlife. The new laws place heavy restrictions on when venues inside a designated zone can sell drinks and when they have to stop letting people in. Venues hated the new laws, but the government fought for them anyway because they believed they addressed a major crisis. There's no way they would ever loosen the law for any venue in the designated zone. Luckily for the Packers, Crown Casino falls far outside the exclusion zone for the proposed laws. How far outside? About six steps. This is part of Sydney's entertainment precinct. Thanks to the new laws, you can't buy a drink from a bottle shop after 10pm. You can't enter a venue after 1.30am or get a drink in any venue after 3am. Which means if you want a drink, well you'll have to travel all the way here to Crown Casino. The Crown Casino is the only place in a wide region that's immune from the lockout laws. That's a fun coincidence, isn't it? It looks like someone just forgot to colour in that spot. I'm sure they'll fix it when they realise. If there's one thing the government would never budge on, it's indoor smoking laws. It took over 30 years to finally get smoking banned in every office, restaurant, pub and indoor area in Australia. The laws protect the health of workers, so there's no way the government would ever Ever? Oh wait, this is for a casino. Yep, the government has suspended anti-smoking laws for Crown's VIP area, making it one of the only places you can smoke inside in the country. Other areas include this Crown Casino, this Crown Casino, and these other casinos. Some people were worried about smoking affecting the health of staff, but why would you work at a casino if you weren't already immune to cancer? There'll be no one in there but a Russian oligarch and a British secret agent, right? Well, no. To become a VIP at Crown, all you have to do is bet $20 per hand at Blackjack. Make it rain! Even though we're happy to let casinos slowly kill humans, the environment, at least, must be safe. Sure, Barry O'Farrell's first decision in office was to abolish the Environment Department, but Crown Casinos love the environment! Look at their Crown Environment website! They hold plants in their hands! So they'd never want to bypass environmental sustainability restrictions. Well, actually, they do. But the only areas they want exemptions from green energy standards are the ones that will use heaps of energy. You know, because restrictions should only apply in places they won't have any effect. In fact, one reason they claim to need so much energy is to operate the fan systems used to filter out all the cigarette smoke. A spokesperson for the O'Farrell government said that Crown would not be subject to the existing green laws as they were not designed for casinos. This makes sense. Laws shouldn't apply to you unless they were written with you specifically in mind. When the laws against murder were written, lawmakers didn't know I wanted to murder. That's why it's okay that I do it. But who says we need to wait for construction to finish before we start ignoring laws at Barangaroo? Fairfax Media and the ABC have reported that labour used in construction of the casino is being supplied by a well-known crime figure, George Alex, a man alleged to be heavily entwined with bikey gangs and other organised crime networks. But let's not talk about that anymore. I personally endorse Barangaroo and Crown Casino See you at the crap tables. Oh, I said I meant crap tables! Crap tables!